frizzy people of the internet. So lately I've been thinking more and more about the makeup that I seem to be accumulating. Um, I have been buying some items which are higher end and they've been wiping me out. For example, the other day I bought the new NARS Weightless Foundation and the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. Now, as amazing as they are, um, you know, I spent £60 in one week on makeup. Yeah. And I just, I guess, I, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> As most of you all know, I am a lover of MAC lipsticks and my favourite MAC lipstick, which I bought back in December, Twig, has nearly run out. Can't bring myself yet to buy this. Again, just because the other day I spent £60 on makeup, I'm just like, mm, need to take a step back. Also, I have so much at the minute I need to pay for. Lots of my friends are back from university, so they want to go out, they want to do things. It's my dad's birthday, it's one of my best friend's birthday. And I just can't afford to buy expensive makeup. I went on a hunt, yes, I went on a hunt, to find some beauty products, specifically lip products, because my lip collection is deteriorating, that don't cost much and won't break my bank balance. <laughs> I have tried a lot of products which are budget products and now I use high end and I've tried a lot of high end products and now I need and now I use low end. So I thought I'd talk about some of them. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is like face makeup so whether that be foundation, concealer or powder or whatever you use. Um, I use foundation and I have used foundation for years. Two products which I must have bought, you know, last year and have sat at the back of my collection and I have not used are two collection foundations. Now, I actually had someone ask me not long ago whether the matte foundation from collection was any good. When you're buying cheap foundations, and by cheap foundations I mean foundations that cost like a fiver, they tend to have really bad colourings. So, you'll find that the light you'll find that the lightest colours tend to be really, really dark. Now, this one is supposed to be blonde too, and as you can see, it is orange. Um, I'm pretty sure I used these when I had dance shows or acting shows and stuff, and I had a bright light on me, and that must have been why I bought them, but this was one of the lightest shades they had. So just keep that in mind. When I'm putting a foundation all over my face, I really don't want to use something which is thick and heavy and you know is likely to make me break out. So a few which I would recommend if you are looking for some. This one is probably the one with the like the thickest coverage. So I'd wear this on like a night out, maybe if I, I wanted it to stay on. And that is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour. Don't know why you need it for 25 hour foundation with comfort serum and it is really really good um, if you're looking for a long lasting um, foundation with a lot of cover then this is definitely you know the way to go um, one thing I would say is that if you wear a foundation like that you really do need to you know put bronzer on put blusher on and it can start to look a bit cakey and heavy. But for everyday foundations, the best drugstore one I found, and I have used a lot, um, are the bourgeois ones. And I have lost the lids for these, which is really, really annoying, because it means I can't put them on my makeup bag. But um, this is the Healthy Mix one, and this is the Healthy Mix Gel, gel Foundation. I would say that these are both light coverage, and they really do they don't make your face look like you're wearing foundation, they just kind of even out your imperfections and yeah, I would recommend these, especially if you're, you know, a young girl, for example, and you're looking for a foundation that's not gonna not gonna make you look fake. Like if you just wanna start a foundation which isn't gonna cost you bone, I think these were like ten pounds, which may be a lot, but if they last you months and months and months, which well, not months and months and months and months, but if they last you a long time, then it's definitely worth it over one which is like a fiver and you find yourself having to buy another one. This is a concealer which most people talk about and this is the Collection Lasting Finish um, Concealer. Um, 
basically the best concealer I've ever used and I wouldn't really consider using anything else. I know some people like the ones which highlight and they come in like a brush formula but I've used the Yves Saint Laurent one I think it is and I didn't like it. It covers those spots like it's good. I will have to say I bought both these mascaras because Zoella, who a lot of you will know, mentioned them. This one was on a blog post and it is the Barry M Showgirl. I'm pretty sure she would have got paid for that post and I don't know if she actually uses this. Um, the, it's quite heavy like the way it is and um, the brush is okay. One thing I would say is that after a long day it can be quite harsh on the eyelashes. So if you're on a budget this mascara is really good and you know, Barry Emma are a really, really well-known brand and they have a lot of trust behind them. This is the one I've been using every single day and it is amazing. But if you're looking for one on a budget, I would definitely recommend the Showgirl one. I really want to do a whole video kind of based on my lip collection because it seems to be ever-growing. But I'm just going to recommend these three products um, just for now because I have been loving them. Um, the first one is a Revolution lipstick and it is the one and I actually posted this picture on Instagram and um, Makeup Revolution reposted it or whatever you want to call it and yeah everyone seems to love it it's sort of like a nudie pinky kind of colour and I, I apply this with a lip brush just because I think it's easier because the formula is quite wet but um, it is the perfect nude it really suits my skin colour and it cost a pound. I actually got this for 90p technically because Superdrug do NUS discounts. This one is MUA Velvet Matte. It's a velvet matte and it is Tranquility. And it's sort of, I would say it's really similar to Velvet Teddy by MAC. Um, it dries, it goes on like gloss and dries matte. This was three pounds so you know, I've been wanting Velvet Teddy for ages, but I was really, really worried. I was like, oh, I don't know if like that sort of nude would suit me. But um, now I definitely want to buy it because of this. The other one that I bought today, I bought MUA today, is the one I'm wearing right now. And this is the Sleek Russian Roulette. Um, it's really good. This is going to sound slightly odd. It's a hard lipstick. Like, it's not too, like, dewy. Like... It's not matte and it doesn't dry out your lips, but it's not too kind of glossy so that it's really hard to apply in a neat line. Like I didn't use a lip brush or a lip liner with this. Oh wait, no, it is actually a matte lipstick. I lied. For a matte lipstick that doesn't dry my lips out, this is really good. And this was only a fiver as well. So, you know, on a budget, I would definitely recommend these three products. I crazily want some of the Bold Metals Real Techniques brushes and the Zoeva um, brushes. Um, I was looking at the Real Technique brushes on Boots and in Boots and all these shops where they have them and I couldn't really justify them. Um, I got um, contacted by a store which you might have heard of called Born Pretty Store and they do like budgeted makeup and makeup brushes and all this and they are these ones. How much do these look like the Real Techniques ones? Like to me, looks wise, appearance, no difference. Um, I use these, every, well, I don't use this one every day because I don't use stippling, but um, I use these ones every single day. Um, yeah, I would have to say, I know people say you should spend a lot of money on brushes and all this and they're always going on about MAC eyeshadow brushes and all of that, but frankly these brushes do the trick and they were like a fiver for a set so if you're on a budget definitely go check out Born Pretty Store I'll leave the link below. The last thing I'm going to talk about is eyeshadow. Um, I haven't ever brought myself to buy the Naked palettes. is that bad? You've probably all heard me talk about these before. The Vert Revolution Iconic and this is Redemption two and three. They are amazing. Um, they're literally complete dupes like there's no difference and I just really love them. You know, I've completely worn this one down, well, these shades down. I don't really wear dark colored eyeshadow, but I would on a night out. <laughs> and the pink one I haven't used as much, I have to say, but I do love the shimmery tones. I put on a little bit of shimmer and then I kind of blend it out so it just gives that kind of little effect of shimmer. Um, Four pound each and complete dupes. If you're on a budget and you want a new eyeshadow palette, definitely get them. They're amazing. I keep going on about them, but you need them in your life.
Another attempt at a dupe is collections. You've probably seen this, Eyes Uncovered. Um, it's got similar shades in it. It's sort of like a nudey, glittery kind of natural palette. Personally, I, I kind of like the goldy toned one. Um, I haven't fallen in love with this. Um, I'm kind of unsure whether I'm gonna keep it or not, if I'm honest. I think it was like a fiver, so if you're looking for some nudes, you could try this, but personally, I would recommend the Revolution ones as you get more shades and they're four pounds, so it's cheaper, so it's like, what's the difference? Saying that, I do also use like high-end, you know, eyeshadows. I've got like Clinique and MAC and Lancome and some other ones as well, but I don't grab for them. I'm really tempted to throw some of them away because I feel like I shouldn't have them if I'm not using them. So, beauty on a budget. I hope that helped. If you're looking for a, you know, budget foundation or eyeshadow palette or mascara or whatever you're looking for, um, I have decided that when I hit a thousand subscribers that I'm going to get a new camera. Um, I know this camera is really, really good quality and I don't know if I can show you what it looks like. It, it's like a bit like a vlogging camera, but it's got a lens on it. It's a Sony, it's Sony A5000, A5, and it is a really, really good camera, don't get me wrong, but I feel like I should up my game a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I've got some really, really exciting like ideas for my next few videos, so I really hope you like them, and you know, if you wanna see them, subscribe. <laughs> um, Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you soon with a new video.